Hey guys, Techman Trader with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your WhatsApp notification not working on your iPhone on the latest updated version. Or if you even have an Android, it might be similar for you where the notifications stop working. And we're going to go through the troubleshooting steps. And at the end of the video, hopefully it will resolve it and you'll be able to get notification again for your WhatsApp application. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do whenever you're having this issue, it's simply go ahead and open up your settings on your iPhone. Once you set up a settings, you gotta make sure that airplane mode is turned off. So when it's grayed out like that, that's it means it's turned off. You gotta make sure it's turned off just like that. And along with that, you also want to make sure that in your focus mode right here, you want to make sure that do not disturb here is off as well. So you'll see something like this. And any of these modes that you have, make sure they're off as well. You can go ahead, pull down from the top menu here and click on this as well. And you'll see here, it should be all just grayed out like this. If it's on like that, it will say on, which is in good because you won't get the notification. So you want to make sure that it is off for even any of these modes because these modes will interfere with your notification setting. So that's another thing to check out. Also, the next thing you want to check out is in the battery of your iPhone. So in the settings, we'll head over to we'll find the battery. So you'll see here there's a battery option. And then you'll make sure that your low power mode is turned off just like that. It's grayed out because if you have low power mode on, well, we'll see that it is like that. What will happen is you won't get fetch notification. So sometimes no notification might not come up because it's trying to reduce the usage on the battery. So we want to make sure that is turned off. And of course, for that to be turned off, you want to also make sure your phone is charged above 20% or so. So those are a couple things to check out. So those are some things with the phone that you can do. Now let's move on to the actual application here, which I'm going to show you on another phone here that I have that I'm having the issue. So here I have another phone here. It has WhatsApp already downloaded. I'm having issues there. So what you want to do is go ahead and open up the app. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the app. So once you open up the app, you go here to the notification settings here, right here where you see that settings. And then you'll see here there's a notification up top here. You're going to click on notification. And once you click on notification, you'll notice a bunch of these settings here. You'll see you want to make sure that all of these are turned on just like that. You want it to be green like that. So even for the sound, you're going to make sure it's selected on a sound, reaction, even group setting ones, all of these, we're going to make sure they're turned on. Even for this show preview, you're going to make sure they're still on. Now, you can also do is, if you want to reset all of your settings to default for these notifications, you can also do that. This will not delete any data or anything like that, but it will delete as you can see here, custom notification setting. That's all. It just resets the setting to default. So if you do that, it will just make sure if there's anything that was messed up, it will reset it as well for you. So that's something you want to take a look at settings and the notification on the actual WhatsApp app. Now let's move on to the next thing here that we might be having, which should be related with your phone here. So have your phone open up here. What you want to do is now check other things on your phone if you're still having issues. And that's going to go with settings. And this time we're going to go in settings. And then we're going to look at the notification for our phone here. We click on that. And then we'll look for here WhatsApp here. As you can see, there's a custom option for WhatsApp. And you want to make sure that it is allowed right here if it's turned off. Also, you want to make sure these are selected. So if it's unselected, make sure they're selected just like that. You want to make sure all the are check mark, sound is turned on, and badges is turned on. And then these options here, basically, you want to make sure that it is showing if you want the preview and then group notification just set it as automatic just like that just to make sure that it is working because this is the default setting you want to make sure that is working now the other thing you also want to check in your settings of your iPhone is go down here and find this time in the main settings section we're going to go all the way down here and find WhatsApp as the app here and then you want to make sure this background app refresh is turned on what happens is when apps are working they need to work in the background for it to be able to generate notifications so we want to make sure that is turned on the case that you're having issues now after all of that now it's time to do a force restart of the phone here so to do a force restart you're going to press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down button and then hold the side button just like that and this method will work on iphone 8 and above it will not delete any of your data, like your photos, videos, apps, or anything like that. All it's doing is 
making the phone reload its software again so that if there is any software issue impacting the notification from not working, this will resolve those minor software issues. Sometimes, time to time, it can happen. It's always good to give a phone a nice forced restart to reload the code and give it a clean start, which resolves again for the most part, most software related issues that are minor. And once you are on it, you're going to go ahead and unlock your phone just like that. And hopefully notification is working. Now, if the notification still isn't working. The next thing you want to do is simply go ahead and make sure your app is updated. To do that, you're going to go ahead to the App Store. Once you go to the App Store, what will happen is you'll get this option. You're going to go ahead, search for your app. So WhatsApp, for example, right? And it will say either when you click on it, what's a messenger, it will say update just like that. And we want to do is click on that update. And the reason why we want to do that is because each time WhatsApp gets updated, you also want to make sure you have the latest version because older version might have an issue which the bug fix or something like that impacting the software or the software of the iPhone has moved up. So WhatsApp has to be updated as well. And you can see there's open, that means now the WhatsApp application has been updated to the latest version. We also see a dot right here that indicates it as well. And hopefully it's working now. Now let's say it isn't working even after the update. You might have to go ahead and delete WhatsApp and reinstall it. So to do that, you're going to press and hold. And then you're going to remove app just like that, right? And then you want to go ahead and delete the app just like that and we're going to hit delete so what will happen is it will delete the app but once you reload it again all of your chat and stuff will be all there so we're going to make sure that you do also back up your whatsapp make sure before you do that but it will already back it up because it will use your phone number for you so we're going to delete that but we're not doing it here but and then you're going to go to the app store here again and then search it up and download it again one more time. Now, after you have done that, if it's still not working, go ahead into your settings. And then this time we're going to go to general. And then all the way here where it says transfer reset iPhone. Click on that and we're going to reset here. And this time what we're going to do a reset is going to be two resets that you can do. All setting one, which will reset all of your settings. But before you do that, remember it's not going to delete your anything like apps, photos, videos, anything like that. It's going to reset all of the default setting to factory settings. So anything like custom um, design that you have done, or any settings like Wi-Fi setting, things like that, or notification setting, it'll reset all of that. And it's kind of one of those last resort thing you have to do if you really can't get it to work. And the other reset you can also do is resetting your location and privacy as well. Those two resets will usually help. And again, it will not delete photos, videos, app like that. You can do those without deleting any of that. And lastly, if you're still not working, the very last thing you can do is go into ooh, your phone settings again here. Just like that, we're going to go to general. And then we'll go ahead and do a software update by clicking on software update and see if there's an update available and update it to it. As a time of recording, as you can see, we're up to date with the latest version. And the reason why you want to do that, again, sometimes minor or issues wrong with the software could be impacting your phone. And it's good to make sure your phone is up to date to the latest version. Hopefully, we went through all of those troubleshooting steps in your WhatsApp notification is or working. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe on this video and also let us know which solution worked for you in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.